So Shadow Generations is coming out pretty fucking soon, chat. And while that's the case, we need to know what the canon path of this game is. The original Shadow game. Because goddamn, this game is such a fucking mess. I don't know what's real and what's not real in this game. I, I need to know what's canon and what's not so I can focus on those story elements in regards to Shadow Generations. So let's check this video out. This is by Delstar X. Let's see if he can crack the truth behind these paths. Bug's existence has generated a ton of discussion stemming from the events that take place in the story of this game. Yeah, yeah, Shadow the, the, the Hedgehog unquote, features story. a whopping 22 levels, 10 different endings, and 326 different optional paths that you can take to get to these endings. Now you're probably asking, who the hell has the time to uncover the all these on. pathways? The answer is, six year old me. I will not be taking any more questions at this time. The only Man, when I was six years old, bro, the first time I played this game was like my friend had it. I played it, it was like, oh, this is cool. I got it for myself and I was like, wow, this game sucks and i was like 10 years old i did all these paths but i didn't get each endings for each path and it's like oh brother so i'm gonna do all that shit again i was like yeah i'm good i'm you good never got the final boss in order to gain access to the true final story which houses the canon ending to the game this has spawned conversation about the topic i will be discussing in this video what is the true path of shadow the hedgehog now, it seems like an extremely daunting task to look through over 300 paths to decipher which one is the actual true path, but there is a way to simplify this process. Okay. We must look at what happens in the final story and take into account Shadow's motivations that are laid out in the opening cutscene of the game. Type in this cutscene, Shadow contemplates the meaning behind the weird visions he's been having, mainly about Maria's death. This falls in line with Sonic Heroes, where Shadow very clearly doesn't remember what happened to him before the events of SA2. Right, right, Shadow right, is indeed, approached indeed. by Black Doom, who tells him that if he gathers the Seven Emeralds, he will reveal Shadow's origins to him. Shadow goes ahead with this plan and sets off to search for the Seven Chaos Emeralds. The last story has many events unfold due to events that transpired in some of the levels leading up to the final story. These things must be in line with the true path we uncover. Shadow doesn't fight Sonic or Black Doom, so any ending where this happens before last story isn't canon. Damn, that's like a good amount of them, because you fight Sonic in like two endings, right? And you fight Black Doom like three different times, right? Oh, God. Eggman must be alive, so every possible path where Eggman gets right. karate chopped to death by Shadow shit, yeah. isn't canon as well. Yeah. So, so... You fight Eggman, you fight the Egg Dealer a couple of times, right? But that middle path definitely went thousand percent. But I don't think he kills him in like another, like the other ending where you fight him. I don't think he kills him either. Next thing is that the Chaotix have to have found the computer room. <laughs> and used the computer room! It, it is canon! Data oh, to, to hack into the system. This means that every possible path that doesn't go through Prison Island and Cosmic Fall in the same route is not canon. The gun commander whoa, seems whoa. to have a chain. That's crazy. So it has to go through. To hack into the system. This means that every possible path that doesn't go through Prison Island and Cosmic Fall in the same route is not canon. Oh, the gun God. commander seems to have a change of heart about Shadow and the professor at the end of the final story. But there had to be some developments along the way to get him there. So any route that doesn't introduce the commander and features a scene where he confronts Shadow on the mm. arc isn't canon because it wouldn't make sense for him to how be so that... hell bent about getting rid of Shadow. I feel conf... like this is all over the place. How 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 you get a, a a playthrough where you get all this stuff together? I feel like the two spread it out, you know. Front him directly at any point and then do a 180 in the final story. The commander also extends an olive branch to Shadow, apologizing to him in expert mode, which acts as an after story to the oh main God, game once mode. the last story is complete. Completed. I'm counting this as canon because it provides some insight as to why Shadow would join Gun in Sonic 06. Mm, Lastly, Eggman reveals shit. to Shadow that he is the real deal and not an android. So any path that doesn't have Shadow end up in Iron Jungle is not canon. As how is this is possible? Where the shadow so, so, so you're just taking the neutral path. But then how do you get the stuff with the commander? Android stuff comes into play. I also want to make it clear that some missions that you don't do that involve warring factions is also canon. For example, in this canon path, if you do the dark mission on Prison Island, the hero mission is also canon regardless because Charmy had to have found the discs in order for Team Chaotix to use the data to hack mm -hmm. into the Ark's computer as seen in the last story. Indeed, which is what indeed, makes sense indeed. Otherwise. If we need another example, let's look at Sky Troops. If you do either Eggman or Black Doom's mission, nothing in the overall plot changes either way in the last story. 
The war fought between Gunn, Eggman's army, and Black Doom's aliens ultimately doesn't matter to the plot, as the central story, no matter what you do, right. is to obtain the seven Chaos Emeralds. Right. Alright, let's course. get into it. In Westopolis, the mission that falls most in line with the story so far is the neutral mission, which requires Shadow to collect the Chaos the Emerald chaos and the Gold Ring at the end of the stage. Indeed. The hero and dark missions require Shadow to defeat a set number of aliens or gun units respectively. Shadow gains two emeralds by doing the neutral mission. His only goal so far is to simply find the seven emeralds. Doing the neutral mission takes you to Glyphic Canyon, where, once again, the neutral mission is the one that aligns most with Shadow's current objective. The dark mission right. requires you to activate five temple jewels. But doesn't he get the Chaos Emerald anyway? Like, no matter what mission he does, technically, right? Because at the end of whatever the fuck he just did, like, you still have all seven Chaos Emeralds. To empower the aliens, while the hero mission is by and large the same one as in Westopolis. Instead of helping Sonic, you're helping Knuckles. And to clarify, you can get the third emerald no matter which mission you do, right, but Shadow okay. hasn't aligned himself with either side, so there's no reason to do the hero or dark missions just yet. Oh, okay, Shadow's okay. search for the emeralds leads him to Prison Island, and this is where the shift in Shadow's motivation begins to change. Going back to the destroyed Prison Island makes him recall memories of being locked away by Gun after Maria saved his life on the Ark. Shadow gains some clarification about what happened to him, but not everything is clear. Black Doom gives Shadow the usual mission of wiping out military presence to allow the aliens to take over. The hero mission sees Charmy B ask Shadow for help, collecting some top secret discs. The neutral mission is to simply head for the gold ring, which gets you the fourth emerald, but the following level of sky troops doesn't offer any real plot significance. There's two warring factions in that level, and the neutral path offers no chaos emerald, so it would be non-canon based on the rules I established earlier. There's no so real reason to, to help Charmy in Prison Island. The most logical path to take here is the or dark no. mission, as Black Doom oh, no, did you promise Shadow he would reveal the path to him as he gathered the emeralds. So now, okay, so you have to go to the dark route, okay. The way would come up for Shadow due to being on Prison Island, so the dark mission makes sense story-wise. Doing okay. the dark mission also gets you the fourth Chaos Emerald. That's Shadow's it. memories are still hazy, so mm, And then you get this so cutscene! And then you get this super crazy cutscene that seems so fucking important, right? Okay, this is making sense now, okay. The years ago, on the space call in the Ark, where Shadow and Maria are running away from gun soldiers. As Shadow progresses through the level, he regains his memories right, and did, okay. about what happened on the Ark. So the most likely path to take here in this level named The Doom is to help Maria it's save Ark researchers right. who had been injured due to Gun's radical takeover of the space colony. Shadow is now back in the present on Iron Jungle, still unaware of what it all means. He encounters a multitude of shadow androids. Wait, what? So then, so now, okay, so now you go back here, right? Now you go back here because he gotta know that the androids are a thing, and now he's like, okay, what the fuck, right? This falls in line with what we saw at the end of Team Dark's story in Sonic Heroes, where it's implied Hate that level? That yeah, that's just fucking ass. <laughs> I love how the fanbase has to create all this headcanon because Sonic Team is too lazy to create because it's blocked. So fucking stupid. Possibly be an android. Shadow spots Eggman heading back to his base and with Omega's help chases him down. It's important to do the hero mission here, as doing the mission lands you in Cosmic Fall, which has an ending where Eggman doesn't get killed by Shadow. Okay. Defeating the Eggman boss here in Iron Jungle lands you the fifth Chaos Emerald. If you do the Dark mission, you end up in a stage called Black Comet, where the hero oh. mission leads you to killing Eggman, and the oh. Dark mission leads you to fighting Sonic with oh, Shadow. Oh, okay, so you can't, yeah, so this is, this is, no, you don't go there. So then the other side leads you where, though? Shadow ultimately swearing loyalty to Black Doom, which as we all know, yeah, is he what happens do in the yeah, end. He Doing do the that. neutral mission lands you in Lava Shelter, and sets you on the Shadow as an android path. Right. Obviously that pathway can't be canon as well, seeing as how both missions in Lava Shelter leads Shadow to... Yeah, just killing once Eggman, again, which he Eggman. Do During the boss fight for Iron Jungle's hero mission, Shadow is lied to by Eggman, who tells him he's an android. The reason why Eggman lies is never made clear. He doesn't think this Shadow is one of his many Shadow androids, and he tells him the truth during the Devil Doom boss fight. He's just being a fucking story, dickhead. So just he was a being an asshole. Guess. If the Shadow android stuff was always meant to be a misdirection to make the player believe Shadow could possibly be one, they literally failed by the end of Team Dark story in Sonic Heroes. Because while they did try to make you think that Shadow was an android, as I said earlier, at the very end, they just leave a big hint that it's the real Shadow anyway. The more interesting yeah, because story Shadow literally, be, yeah, Shadow literally says like, like he literally says here, oh, something's Shadow never changed. It's like nigga, 
you don't remember anything. What are you talking yeah, about, right? right? Like, what are you earlier, saying? The... Yeah, something's never changed, do they? It's like, you shouldn't even know who Knuckles is, brother. Like, what are you talking about? Very end, they just leave a big hint that it's the real Shadow anyway. A more interesting story would have been uncovering why Eggman has an entire army of android versions of the ultimate life form, but that element is never really talked about. Yeah, we don't oh, really well. know why. On to Cosmic Fall. Shadow's journey takes him to the space colony arc with more questions than okay, answers. Been, okay. Here, the gun commander. Oh, and then the gun Shadow. commander. Okay, wow. This really is. Wow. This is uh, this is actually crazy. So you go neutral until you have to side with uh, Black Doom at Prison Island. Right, at least I think it's Prison Island. And then that takes you to the arc where you remember Maria. And then you get the androids. And then you come here with the professors doing the, doing the thing oh, right here. Okay. Nice connection to Maria. Right, and that's Shadow very important. That's very important. That okay. happened on the arc that ended up killing Maria. The gun commander then tries to kill Shadow. The hedgehog dodges it with ease and tells the commander that he will gladly hand himself over if it's revealed that Shadow is solely responsible for the arc Right, which is a very shallow thing ago. to do. The indeed. gun commander unsure of what to believe at this point falls to his knees leaving and, shadow and, and, it's to really, and it's really crazy because like you know this game definitely takes uh shadow's fucking character and twists it in different ways but now it's like okay look at this canon path he's pretty much in character for the most part and the truth about what happened in cosmic fall you either do the dark mission which is simply get to the right. sixth emerald or you help vector you from the help infamous vector. computer room the to. dark mission is the correct choice here because if you do the hero mission it's implied that shadow kills himself which is oh, insane oh shit, that's right that is he doesn't say that so you have to side with black doom here interesting on so many levels how the hell was this game rated e10 yeah this was you also defeat black doom here which isn't supposed to happen yet the dark right. mission ending sees you fight eggman obtain the severance emerald leading to shadow affirming to himself that he is indeed the ultimate life form and the protector of the ark telling eggman to leave and never return this ending seems to suggest that shadow continues to live in solitude on the ark Wait a minute. Oh, so, so, so siding with Black Doom here makes you fight Eggman? Which I don't think is too far out of the realm of possibility to be I like honest that, actually. That's, that's cool. I like that. Shadow is seen on the arc at the end of the final story. Right. He says he's leaving the past behind him, and the arc would be a part of that past. It's also possible that being on the arc also gives him peace of mind. He does decide to team up with Gun, so the trauma... And then you know, in, in Dark Beginnings, the arc is still there, so Shadow probably, yeah, he probably just be, like, going there. Sometimes, you know, maybe. Yeah, he's cooking. Yeah, he's cooking. What happens seems to not affect him anymore. We stand the emotional growth of a three foot hedgehog. With the seven emeralds obtained, Shadow heads to the Black Comet and the events of the last story unfold. This entire route that I've laid out here is also known as Path 153, also known as the Together, Together with, with Maria, Maria path. path. It covers all. Wait, these paths have fucking names? Every single last one of these paths have names? What the fuck? All the bases needed to make a concise story that lines up with the final story of the game. It's not the greatest story ever, but it makes some sense, and that's the goal at the end of the day. Right. Let me know what you think about this route. Very interesting. Is there any other route in Shadow that makes sense? I definitely never took As that route. As I was doing research for this, I saw a few people point out that Izuka has stated that the supposed canon route is the pure hero path, but that leads... No, because Shadow, even Shadow says some weird shit in there. Like taking candy from a baby, which just doesn't make any fucking sense. It's to you defeating Black Doom yeah, then you defeat the Black Doom. story. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to me how that could be it. If anyone has a link to an article where he says this, I would love to read it. Shout out to Sonic Lore Post. Yeah, no, Izuka, Izuka doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about sometimes. <laughs> like, no, surely not. The pure hero path isn't canon. No, it doesn't make any sense type shit. Hey, W fucking video. That actually cleared things up and it makes complete sense. Like that, that makes sense to be the canon route. Uh, Shadow is consistently going through like, you know what I'm saying, story arcs. He requires the information of the androids and does this, that, and the third. He doesn't kill anybody. He doesn't defeat anybody. He doesn't like super hard switches to like you know saying like serve anyone he stays pretty much neutral throughout the whole thing he remembers maria he, you know he's on the arc it makes fucking sense i like it so now we know the canon path for shadow the supposedly canon path of shadow treats his character pretty damn well too none of that weird edgy jokey shit none of that like act, like treats his fucking character oh yeah the commander too 
like got that in there as well like pretty solid like performance from it for his character you know it's, it's just a shame that you know other people look at certain things from this game and be like oh yeah that's how he acts and it's like no bro it's not bro but now and now we know like e even the arcs being there like because like we don't usually see just the arc there you know i also love that they had the moon blown up in half you know like i like that shit like stuff like that it's the kind of continuity that I like to see, you know, not stuff that's, you know, forced down my throat. Um, but that was that was a good video. That was definitely a good video.